This, along with Cassie's uh, lawsuit that you talked about earlier that was settled, reads a lot like what we saw in the R. Kelly case in the EDNY. I've never met Diddy a day in my life, but when you do wrong, <laughs> it comes back on you. So, In the wake of a sensational raid on Diddy's properties and his sudden departure from the country, hip-hop heavyweight 50 Cent drops a bombshell, suggesting Jay-Z might be the Fed's next target. But is this just wild speculation, or is there something more sinister brewing beneath the surface? We dive deep into the murky waters of celebrity scandal to uncover the truth. Just last week, federal agents raided two homes of rapper and music mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs in Los Angeles and Miami. Combs is the subject of a federal investigation. And Amid allegations swirling around Sean Diddy Combs, federal investigators are pulling at threads, seeking telecommunications records and flight logs in connection to a chilling sex trafficking probe. But Diddy's legal team isn't backing down, slamming the raids as excessive and vowing to clear his name of any wrongdoing. Yet, with each passing day, the net of suspicion seems to tighten around the hip-hop mogul. As the saga unfolds, whispers of secret flights and clandestine deals send shockwaves through the industry. With Diddy's passport still in hand and his entourage facing their own legal woos, the spotlight now shifts to Jay-Z. Could the rap titan be next in line for a reckoning with the authorities? And what does this mean for the future of hip-hop's elite? It's safe to say not a lot of people know what's going on, and I'll bet he doesn't really know what's going on. He in the shadow of these allegations, a troubling pattern emerges, casting a stark light on the dark underbelly of the music industry. It's not the first time rumors of impropriety have swirled around prominent figures. Jay-Z himself has been no stranger to controversy, with whispers of past relationships and collaborationships and collaborations raising eyebrows and questions about his moral compass. The revelation from Damn Dash, co-founder of Rock, a fellow records, adds fuel to the fire. Dash alleges that Jay-Z harbored bitterness towards him for dating Alea, the late R&B sensation. And that was when she was still a teenager. In a recent interview, Dash recounted the competition between himself and Jay-Z for Alea's affection, highlighting a tumultuous love triangle that captivated the music world. Everybody was getting at Alea, bro, Dash revealed. She'll go to dinner with a man, but she wasn't just going to be smashing. So that was like the big deal. Who could get with Alea? This revelation not only sheds light on the personal dynamics between these industry titans, but also raises questions about the ethical boundaries within their relationships. With allegations of misconduct swirling around the industry, could Jay-Z's past romantic pursuits come back to haunt him in the wake of Diddy's legal troubles? I still say allegedly has done things and allegedly participated in a lot of things that the public would not be happy to know. Moreover, Dash's criticism extends beyond personal relationships to professional collaborations. He calls out Jay-Z for his collaboration with R. Kelly, despite Kelly's alleged abuse of alleged abuse of Alea. I just couldn't believe he did a project with R. Kelly knowing that he'd assaulted my girl, Dash shared. The decision to work with Kelly, despite his troubled history, raises concerns about the moral judgment of those involved and the culture of complicity within the industry. It's malicious. But maybe that was because he was the girl that didn't want you. Oh. But it's not just allegations of misconduct with Alea that haunt Jay-Z's past. Rumors have long swirled about his relationship with Foxy Brown, another prominent figure in the 90s hip-hop scene. And yes, she was also a minor at the time, as was uh, Alea. While neither party has addressed the speculation directly, talk show host Wendy Williams added fuel to the fire, alleging a romantical thing between the two. Williams claims, though unverified, add another layer of intrigue to Jay-Z's romantic history, raising questions about the nature of his relationships and the impact on those involved. Mm. Oh, oh, Mr. Uh, Diddy, a.k.a. Mr. Love. Now, Dr. No, Love. Sean Carter. Oh, so, oh, 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 Jay. Amidst these swirling rumors and allegations, Jay-Z's marriage to Beyonce stands as a beacon of stability in the tumult of the music industry. The power couple has weathered their fair share of storms, from infidelity rumors to public scrutiny, yet they remain united in their commitment to each other and their family. As Jay-Z himself once said, well, it's my soulmate, this person I love. But as the spotlight shifts to Jay-Z in the wake of Diddy's legal woes, questions remain about the future of hip hop's elite. Will the industry's biggest names weather the storm of scandal or will the weight of their past indiscretions prove too heavy to bear? Now, switching gears back to Diddy, it becomes increasingly apparent that his legal troubles are as significant and troubling as those of his friend, Jay-Z. Facing a barrage of lawsuits ranging from allegations of sexual assault to sex trafficking, Diddy finds himself entangled in a web of legal battles that threaten to dismantle his empire. The issue is, it seems as though he wants to kind of like exert power and dominance over people who... One of the most damning cases against Diddy is that of Rodney Jones, a record producer who filed a federal complaint accusing Diddy of being part of an illegal racketeering enterprise. 
Jones alleges a litany of offenses, including the acquisition and distribution of substances, the displaying of illegal firearms, and the solicitation of minors and sex workers. His allegations paint a disturbing picture of a culture of abuse and exploitation within exploitation within Diddy's inner circle. Moreover, the lawsuit filed by Jane Doe alleges heroin accounts of sexual assault and sex trafficking at the hands of Diddy and his associates. Her complaint details a nightmarish ordeal of being plied with substances before enduring multiple assaults. The allegations, if proven true, would not only tarnish Diddy's reputation, but could also lead to serious legal consequences. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. In addition to these high-profile cases, Diddy faces a barrage of other lawsuits, each with its own troubling allegations of abuse and exploitation. From accusations of physical assault to claims of human trafficking, the litany of charges against Diddy is staggering in its breadth and severity. One particularly disturbing case involves Liza Gardner, who alleges that she was forcibly assaulted by Diddy and singer, songwriter Aaron Hall. Gardner's lawsuit paints a chilling picture of a nightmarish assault that left her traumatized and emotionally scarred. If her allegations are proven true, they could spell the end of Diddy's career and reputation. Uh, this is just crazy. Just read. Furthermore, the recent lawsuit filed by Grace Omar Kai against Diddy's son, Christian Combs, adds another layer of complexity to the already fraught legal landscape surrounding the hip-hop mogul. Omar Kai's allegations of sexual assault and battery on a yacht chartered by the Combs family during Christmas break in 2022 shed light on the culture of debauchery and violence that permeates Diddy's inner circle. In the face of these mounting legal challenges, Diddy finds himself on the defensive, scrambling to protect his reputation and legacy. His legal team's vigorous denials and dismissals of the allegations as fabricated and bogus only serve to underscore the seriousness of the charges against him. Mm -hmm. I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect, you know what I'm saying? The implications of these legal battles extend far beyond Diddy's personal turmoil. They cast a shadow over the entire hip-hop industry. With federal investigators potentially pursuing a racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations act, RICO, case against Diddy, the landscape of the scandal becomes increasingly complex and far-reaching. A RICO case, notorious for its ability to ensnare multiple individuals and organizations, suggests a deep-seated investigation into broader criminal networks and enterprises. The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs. What does this mean for Diddy and those in his orbit? The looming threat of a RICO case raises the stakes considerably. If federal prosecutors proceed with such charges, it could signal a seismic shift in how the industry is perceived and regulated. As one legal expert noted, a RICO case is never about one person. It's about the organization, the system of people and actions facilitating criminal enterprise. Moreover, speculation abounds regarding potential ramifications for other prominent figures in the music world. Connections and associations are being scrutinized, with names like Jay-Z surfacing in discussions around this widening scandal. The very fabric of hip-hop's elite seems poised on the edge of unraveling, with each new revelation sending shockwaves through the industry. The urgency of these developments is further underscored by the gravity of the allegations. Reports of sex trafficking and racketeering paint a disturbing picture of an industry where exploitation and criminality may have thrived unchecked for years. The fallout from this investigation promises to be extensive, with ripple effects felt across entertainment and beyond. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say. As the saga unfolds, questions linger about Diddy's next moves and whether he can, whether he can, weather this storm. Legal maneuvering aside, the court of public opinion remains a formidable arena. With each passing day, speculation intensifies about who else might be implicated and what this means for the future of hip-hop's most influential figures. In this high-stakes game of legal chess, every move is scrutinized. Diddy's efforts to salvage his reputation are mirrored by a growing chorus of voices demanding accountability and transparency. As one observer mused, brace yourself, more will come. The specter of scandal looms large, casting a long shadow over an industry grappling with its own demons. Clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. What lies ahead for Diddy and those entangled in this web of intrigue remains uncertain. The only certainty is that the fallout from these investigations will reverberate for years to come, reshaping the landscape of hip-hop and exposing the darker realities beneath its glittering facade. One commenter suggests Diddy's behavior predates his wealth, insinuating that financial power merely emboldened his alleged transgressions. Diddy was made this way before he had money, they assert, implying a pattern of misconduct that money has shielded from consequence. 
Others express a broader skepticism towards the wealthy elite, arguing that the affluent often operate with a sense of entitlement shielded from repercussions. Most rich people believe that they can get away with assassination, declares another commenter bluntly. They break the laws over and over again. Join the conversation. We want to hear your thoughts on the unfolding scandal surrounding Diddy and Jay-Z. Do you believe the leave the legal battles facing these hip-hop icons will reshape the industry's landscape? How should allegations of misconduct within the music elite be addressed? Share your views and engage with fellow fans below. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay informed and keep the dialogue going.